Welcome, I'm David Medore, I'm from US Digital. This is our booth here. Sorry you couldn't make it to our show. We'd like to be able to show you some of our featured products. Okay, we have incremental encoders. That's what we make. We make from, uh, from small sizes up to large ones. This is a incremental reflective encoder. This is a set screw type encoder, and this is the uh, reader right here with a small connector. This little guy here has a no set screw. This is a push-on metal collet type of hub. And so these are m available in multiple sizes that fit many different shafts on diameters. This is a larger version. It gives you ability to have larger diameter shafts if you want and higher resolution. The, th these little guys are miniature absolute encoders. These are magnetic based and they provide either pulse width modulation output or analog. And this same technology is available in a kit version. This is a long for a, a long version to accommodate a long shaft or a short shaft. We just simply take and push this magnet that's been pre-mounted onto a spring-loaded collet onto your shaft, and we have various bases that you can use to connect these absolute encoders onto your shaft. And after you hook it on, you can actually rotate it real time so that you can phase it just just the way you like it. So this goes from incremental to absolute uh, miniature position feedback devices encoders. Okay, we also manufacture optical encoder disks and the hubs. These are two examples. This is for a small diameter and for a large diameter and lots of di different sizes in between. Uh, we use a flexible mylar kind of a disk. It's, it's pretty difficult to destroy. It's a very rugged unit. And we also make the uh, encoder modules to read those. Uh, this the guy here, we've been working with, we partnered up with Agilent, and this one here is our own manufacturer, uh, our own design. Uh, these guys read these incremental uh, disks. We also make uh, custom, we can make uh, within a matter of a day or two, any pattern that you like, either rotary or linear encoders. This year we're introducing a, two versions of our inclinometers, inclination sensors. They also serve as tilt switches. This is a IP67 rated unit. It has a, a serial CAN bus. You can put multiple units on this one cable. And as you can see here, we've, we've made it easy to get it, the information in and out of a PC. Uh, we can wrote, this is a one, two, or three axis unit. This is, you can see the wings moving back and forth here, and if I rotate in this axis, you see this, this uh, image here rotate real time. The, there's a, two versions of this. This is what we call the X4, and we also have, and this is basically for outdoor environments. So you can mount this uh, exposed to the elements, and like on a desert uh, mirror that's moving for solar energy. Uh, you can also use the X3, which works the same way. That provides either a serial output, an RS-232, or a quadrature output. If you have devices that will, uh, we, a quadrature is quite often used for incremental encoders. So you can use that uh, just as though it was an incremental encoder. So thank you for letting us introduce our, ourselves to you. You can find out more about U.S. Digital by simply going to usdigital.com.